Now, hopefully I do have sound. Sorry if I am breathing into the mic. It's not a great mic. But, so what I wanted to do was just a very, very quick video on my base. And when I first started the game, uh, I played Subnautica. So familiar with the concepts. And I knew this one was just a cold world. And so I, um, I started off and I had seen a few videos where people had built their base uh, near their drop pod and stuff. And so, but as usual, I just wanted to do things kind of different. So I just kind of randomly, when I was ready to build it, just kind of randomly swam around, found the spot, and built my base there. And as I slowly started to uh, expand on the base, um, I eventually made like a surface module that was connected to my base. And when I happened to be standing in it on a very, very clear day, I realized I could see Delta Station. So what I ended up doing was um, my base was a little ways back, but I went and started to build a connection from my base to Delta Station. So I just thought I'll start the video from here instead of working my way here. Oops. So it's just by going through the back way here. Okay, now I'm getting lost. Jeez. Sorry, the other back way. Yeah, so right here. So just take the stairs down. Take these stairs. I chew. Okay, moving a bit too fast. And then just down by here. If you need any sulfur, the other time there's some here. You can always warm up. I keep forgetting when I want to come back with. Well, I think I've been in there, but. Alright, so. <laughs> yeah, so this back way where there was these uh, chests that you could check out. <laughs> So I made mine. One of my entrances here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. And uh, so I just threw a scanner base here. And uh, this will uh, has the entrance that's just below the cliff wall. So this way, if you want to go to the dock, you can always head down that. So at this point, I've just kind of put this room in here just for now. So I've just kind of done the layout. I still haven't, you know, started to add some niceties. In fact, I ended up scavenging quite a lot of my niceties so that. Uh, do I have any? No. So that I could continue building. this big room where I had a window in it. That's where I saw that I could see Delta Station rather well. Here I've started to add a little accoutrements. Uh, this will lead outside. And then down here is actually my main base. Now uh, what I did was, just for now, Of this base. 
So this would just lead outside. Of course, it's nighttime. This is kind of where I stuck all of my power modules. I have two bioreactors and two nuclear reactors. And then here is my main scanner station, as well as my moon pool. And then my other moon pool. They just kind of like to hang around. So I'm going to watch for them every once in a while when I go out. My control room is here. And then here is my first alien containment unit. Now, I hadn't realized that if you actually put them starting here, you can put one here to here, and then put another one from here to here. But I had already put in a nuclear so I'm just leaving that there. And then I have all of my storage, which I've tried to keep listed. And uh, everything is pretty much there. The potion stuff. Oops. Sorry, that's my nano magnetite. You know, potion stuff. Is. Stick most of my components in here. And now that I got the stuff, I got my couple battery chargers. Cyclotron mod section. And this was kind of the main chill area. Pictures. And then I'll just show you. You go up. I still have just the one containment unit here, but I did do the alternating up here and manage to do the effect that I wanted. Now, what I like about that is that then I can put plants in each level. So you can put these at the bottom and you'll still get a nice tall hill roll on it fully. And, uh, you know, you get the picture. And here I have two. So I'm able to put some plants on each side. Oh, I got some more of these guys. Now what I'm thinking I may try to do is connect my uh, current base over to the Fire Robotics landing pad. Well, to the dock over there anyways. But I realize I'm going to need a lot of titanium for that. Well, keeps keep stuff going. And, uh, I used to have a moon pool over here, but it was too difficult to park and try to connect to my modules because every time I turn around, I'd end up redocking in the moon pool, so it was quite frustrating. And then over here, I have. 
I've left my aquarium module just unpowered over here so that it's not collecting. I'm not really using it all that much. And then this will be the module that I just bring around with me for a quick, uh, quick run uh, when I'm picking up stuff. It's just got a supplies. And then I have all of the other modules here. Okay, so that's my just my quick base tour. I'm probably going to do a more comprehensive one, but I just uh, kind of got a kick out of the idea that I was able to connect up to Delta Station with mine and get there just by walking down a corridor. Um, so I'll have to see how well the other one will work because I know there's quite a few icebergs in the way. And one of the things I find annoying, of course, too, with the building uh, is that, you know, you can't really turn items so that they will be angled slightly differently, uh, especially with your big round rooms. When you want to put one of these down, you know, you can just put it there. You can just rotate it on the four axis, axis instead of being able to just kind of slowly turn it so that you might be able to now go off at a different angle, but you get the point. So, hope you enjoyed this quick little tour, and uh, that's it. I'll be signing out.